video. So for today, we're actually going to go on a really quick trip to a pop up for a black owned handbag designer. You guys may or may not know the brand. It is, I believe, Anima Iris. She is really known for her Zaza bags and also is known for having a handbag that Beyonce has worn herself, which is pretty cool and amazing. I have seen so much hype around the bag. However, because it is an independent brand, I haven't seen it in person because it's sold exclusively on their sites and I think also at Saks, but I haven't seen it in store. So this is my opportunity to see it in person. In addition to that, they're selling, um, I guess like a brand new bag style, which is like a mini, a baby bag is what they're calling it. So almost kind of like an AirPod holder. So I'm excited to see those because most luxury um, AirPod holders do not fit the Beats Fit Pro, which is what I have. I am not an AirPod girl, which is very interesting because everything else is Apple, Apple, Apple. But it is the one thing that I feel like I just like the way it is. I love my Feet Beats Pro. I love my Power Beats Pro, which, which is what I had before the Power Beats, the Beats Fit Pro. <laughs> so just looking to see if it's actually gonna fit. Um, and I'm also excited to see the designs in person just because I feel like I just like to see things in person I want to see the colors. I want to see the texture. I want to see the size I want to see how it looks on me just because pictures are nice But I need to see the whole vision especially when I'm investing in it because even though it is a um, Contemporary brand up-and-coming brand. It still is pricey. So we're talking about 500 600 So I definitely want to see it in person in addition to that at the pop-up There's also going to be I guess discounted bags up to 30% I don't know if they're samples or if it's just a sale, but we will go and we will find out. Before I go, I'm gonna put some of this Fenty heat on my lips because um, lately my lips have been super dry. I don't know if this is gonna help because it's plumping, but either way, the gloss bombs are known to be really hydrating, so I'm gonna put it on. Plus, it will kind of give me a little something because I have no makeup on right now and I feel a little dusty. That's better. I feel like this footage is gonna be so blurry because there's absolutely no light. Um, that's one of the downsides to this camera. I am shooting with the Sony ZV-1, which I love, but it's better for low light than my Canon um, camera, but it definitely needs a flash or some type of light source for nighttime. But we're gonna make do. It is what it is. guys so the pop-up was absolutely stunning the attention to detail and all the decor was on point from the signs from the zaza bag that was turning colors outside from the writing on the on the floor to the breakdown of the bags on the wall everything was so well thought out the bags are even more beautiful in person and i'm so happy i had the opportunity to see them i am somebody that likes to touch and to feel and to see and to just see how it looks on me. I That's definitely my preferred way to shop and I'm so happy I had the opportunity to see this beautiful black owned brand in person. This was one of my favorite bags. Thank you so much, Miss Kiwana, Miss Koi Style from capturing all these beautiful BTS for me. I really appreciate it. So like I said, I got to see all the bags in person, all the different prints, all the different types of textured leather because all her bags are leather. Definitely gorgeous. Like, look at the orange marble. What really got my attention was these baby bags. That's what they're calling them. So they're miniature sizes of the signature styles. Super cute. I was hoping that one of them would fit my Beats Fit Pro. Um, more to come on that later. Like I said, I like to see all the bags on me. I am 5'2 for reference. And, you know, it's just nice to see size-wise what they're working with, what they can capture. And then also, you know, with social media, we only see certain styles, but I had the opportunity to see all the styles. So 
yeah definitely check it out guys beautiful bags unique styles something to add to your collection if you're a handbag lover like myself and then this is me my purchase outside guys I put the lights up it actually didn't take me that long because I kind of had it pre-set up from when I shot reels a couple of days ago so that's awesome <clears throat> so this is the bag from the pop-up shop so it says Amina Iris and to Ravinson Street where the pop-up was in this lime green color cute and then for the reveal I got one of the baby bags so these bags were really like they described it as like bags you can attach to your existing Amina Iris bags or any other handbag. <clears throat> you could put your AirPods in them. You can put your um, your little like lip glosses, lipsticks, money, cash, coins, different things and just little trinkets, trinkets, <laughs> little things inside of your bag. So this is mine. She is so cute. So Kwana, aka Miss Koi Style, the other half of Kwane did help me pick this out and she always has really great taste. I was looking at something else, you guys would have seen it. It was like this baby pink powder pink um, suede type of material bag in this silhouette. Well, well, <laughs> well that was awkward. That would happen to me on camera. Um, <clears throat> it was a different silhouette and the first thing she said to me was that the way the material looked it made it look a little like worn or that it would attract dirt really easily and she was absolutely right the other thing i was actually happy to know is that there was bags that were on display so i thought that would be taking that bag but now that i but they actually gave me a fresh bag which of course everyone's like well duh why would they give you a used bag but i i don't know i guess i just thought that what was there is what you were going to purchase and realized you were getting a brand new thing sorry maybe i'm just ignorant um, but anyways, yeah, so this one is really cute. It's like a rainbow It's kind of like an alligator type of pattern, um, or print rather. Like it kind of has that, the large scales on it, like alligator print does have. It has the braiding on it. And like I said, it's multicolored. It has a little clip to add onto your bags or to your keys, different things like that. So I think this is super cute. I paid $95. This is a newer silhouette or style or rather size that they're offering. So it was first revealed at the pop-up and they're going to have them on their site. So I definitely would take, um, keep my eyes open for that if I was you for the, um, whatchamacallit, Black Friday sales or just holiday sales in general. I think this would be a really great um, gift to give to somebody. Super cute. I'm going to show you guys what fits inside of here. Um, just so you have an idea of the sizing in case you want to purchase it. Also, I'm going to be honest, I didn't, I didn't say this before, but looking at the bag with the bright lights on me, like better lighting, I feel like it really brings this bag to life. Like I didn't feel like the colors were this vibrant when I was inside the store, which also makes me wonder if there was something else I would have picked if it would have been a little bit more oomph to it because it would have been brighter. But either way, this is a little cutie. So if we open it up, there's actually a sample from Topicals which is a hydrating mask. Topicals, I believe, is a Black-owned skincare brand. So that's really cool that they did that. I will be using that. <clears throat> my, th my throat was so dry. All right, so really small. Let's see. So this is a Metro card. Yes, we're from New York, so we got to put the Metro card. Metro card does not fit in here. Um, next we have this little like lip mask. Let's see if that fits in here. Um, not quite. Originally I had went 
for these bags because I thought that the way it looked on pictures, it looked like it would fit this, which is my fit, my Beats Fit Pro. That almost fits, not quite. If it was slightly bigger, it would have fit perfectly. And it also was really hard to take out if I put that in there. Change. So we have two quarters. That fits in there. Good for them. Didn't buy this for, for change. Lotion. <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm shady for that. It definitely doesn't fit. This is my Chanel lipstick. And this is Rouge, Rouge, Electro, or whatever. I don't know right now. It's inside of here somewhere. But this is the, the Chanel lipstick. That fits. I mean, I didn't expect it to fit much, but just showing you guys. Because like I said, I didn't expect it to, but I know sometimes people have unrealistic expectations for things. So just giving you guys size references. Fancy gloss balm. Does not fit. Nope. Let's try a Bath and Body Works sanitizer. It fits. Cash. It fits. So what's also really great about this bag is like we said before, it could clip onto your keys or if you have another bag, you're able to clip it onto it. So this is my Brandon Blackwood bag, the Cara Mini. Kara mini tote. So let's say if I want to hook this onto this, I could just do that. And then what's great about that is that I kind of extended the space that's inside of here to also include what's in here. So like I said, cash, uh, maybe a mini lipstick, mini lotion, because full sizes, the mini, the full travel sizes will not fit, but this would fit, right? And that's cute. If you're going out and you want to have an extra place to put your keys and your mini bag does not actually have enough space for it so i think this has a lot of purpose for that they also said that people were adding these to like the jeans so you could do it that way i feel like you just gotta be creative with it so i think that pieces like this allow for that and it's up to us to just find the ways to to use it or find ways that it'll be applicable to our lifestyles all right guys i don't know if i said this before but this bag is is 100 percent leather handmade and then also it's lined with satin this is the inside so yeah i'm really happy with my purchase i am excited to have a piece from another black owned designer you guys know how much that means to me i think shopping black owned brands is one of the best ways to get quality pieces that are giving luxurious unique vibes um, giving that luxurious silhouette great craftsmanship without paying thousands of dollars and you're supporting black owned brands so I think it's really amazing. Super excited to have this. I will be um, Mitch, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm so tired. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to end the vlog here or if I'm going to continue to vlog tomorrow or if I'm going to make tomorrow a totally separate vlog. Not quite sure. You know, Vlogmas is going to be a lot for me. I'm somebody who struggles to post videos once a week. So I'm definitely challenging myself in December to post consistently three times a week, which is not Vlogmas. Vlogmas usually is every single day. However, for someone at my level that also still has a nine to five, that also doesn't have an editor, that, you know, has a very demanding job that I cannot edit and sit around and work remotely from home. I have to actually like be at a, um, a hospital. You know, it's not that easy. Not to make excuses, but the reality of it for me. So you know, I have to maximize the content capture for myself. You guys, if you guys don't see anything else, then that's the end of the vlog.
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. You know, we love to do luxury shopping. We love to talk about what's new, what's great, review the, vlog, the vlogs, review the bags and um, the most authentic, unfiltered way, all that good stuff. So if you like that, make sure you join the community. Thank you guys. And if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you another time. Bye.